among my people. Uh, it's my understanding there are like 2,600 of you here tonight, and I'm pretty sure that most of you would like give a vital organ to be up on stage with these guys. So I'm going to try to do right by you, okay? I've been asking for questions via Twitter, and I'm definitely going to get to the ones that are the most asked questions. And we're also going to open it up to you, of course, at the end of the panel. So uh, it's going to be a really fun night, I think. It's going to be a hot, hot night because Ian and Paul are backstage. So I'm going to shut up and introduce them because I'm guessing you kind of want to see their faces. Mayhaps. All right, starting off, we're going to introduce you to the executive producer who has given me so many feels, such amazing writing, Caroline Dries. The man you know and love as Stefan and Silas and the Ripper, Paul Wesley. But he tried to sneak past me and I did cop a feel, as any uh, valid Vampire Di Diaries fan should do. All right, the talented young woman who deserves at least one Emmy for every character she plays, Nina Dobrev. Is anyone missing? Hmm. Okay, the man whose name I really have to focus on because I want to say Smolder Holder, Ian Summerholder. Smolder holder, I promise. And finally, the woman who started it all, the mastermind who uh, I think I owe a lot of my therapy bills to her. I am charging her for my therapy. Uh, the legend, Julie Pleck. <laughs> Sit your butt down, girl. quite a bit of these Paley Fest events and tonight when I, I showed up they said there are 2,600 people here and they're really excited and really loud and they weren't kidding. Uh, wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I love you back. <laughs> All right. So I want to start off with the most asked questions on Twitter. Last night, I don't know if you saw, but Ian tweeted something that ended up trending worldwide and also in Brazil. I have to point I out, well, I'm here to Brazilian. He my tweeted, people. I love Paul Wesley. <laughs> I, I, tweeted, I tweeted, I love Paul Wesley. Yeah. And it yeah. was. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, actually. <laughs> By the way, I, by the way, we were on set. Actually, they weren't. They were sleeping, but they've been working all week. This has been one of the hardest weeks, I think, of this show. We, I haven't. By the way, I, I will say tell that you every this. week. I, but I haven't been to every sleep. Every week, like this is the hardest. I haven't week. been to sleep before 5 a.m. in over three months. 
If that gives you any indication of like, I mean, we went to wow. bed that one time. Yeah, that's, <laughs> it might not well, be because, because of the work schedule. Life. Yeah, it might not be because of the work schedule, but whatever. No one's judging. <laughs> I'm like, I've been up with you until five a.m. a couple times. Yeah. yeah, but I was shooting until five a.m. this morning, and I went home, walked the dog, fed the animals, and grabbed my stuff. <laughs> got on the plane, and I realized, and I realized that I, I remembered that. Michael Alowitz, who was our first assistant director, who's now our director, has directed more episodes, I think, than any director, and he's amazing. Apparently, there was this thing called the Delena Rain oh, Kiss. I exactly, that. that's what I said. The what? Delena, Delena, Delena Rain, kiss. rain Kiss. Delena Kiss in the Rain. The yeah. fan the, the, the people oh. wanted us to kiss in the rain sometimes before, sometime before the end of the season. And I thought... Well, first of all, it's really cold in Georgia, so I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> well, it wasn't a great idea. Can we, can we reminisce and go back to the days? Well, that's why oh, Delaine has never kissed in the rain, is because of that episode. Is that a rain? <laughs> 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 Sorry, I didn't mean to actually get you. That's okay. <laughs> you all to know but we have a past so it's okay but this thing but this delena rain kiss i had knew nothing about this until like one o'clock in the morning this morning but apparently it's a real thing oh it is why, uh, why rain? I don't know. Why? It's like I, the I don't notebook, know. You know, in the notebook when, like, they run, they're growing, oh, they run, and he grabs didn't her. Didn't we already kiss the last time in the rain? You didn't kiss. That's the problem. Oh. We didn't kiss in the rain. So you go, Remember you how in cold the rain. it was? I do. That's what I was yeah. trying to say. Like, we should go back and, and tell everyone what a, how awful it was. Well, it was, it was <laughs> wonderful the last experience. Time we that were was in the, the first time. Last time we were in the rain together, it was, it was below 30 degrees. So when the rain cranes would come down, the water would hit us. We had to cut because my facial muscles would freeze. And I literally could not speak. And it looked as if I had Bell's palsy. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not kidding you. Like, literally, the facial muscles would stop and freeze. And best work you've ever done. <laughs> best work ever. Well, I was with no, Nina, Paul. I do better work when I'm with Nina than I do when I'm with you. Aww. But it was, like, it was a very, um, you know, we, after that day, I remember sending Julie an email and saying, from now on, if you plan on writing things like this, you better be on set with us, wearing the same wardrobe in the rain with yeah. us, because... <laughs> It was, or naked. It was, <laughs> no. it was below zero. It was freezing temperatures, and they brought in rain machines to make it look all romantic and cute and epic. And Nina's hair Except was freezing. For, don't give away the punchline. Oh, I'm sorry. Like <laughs> you always do this. They, and they, I get in they, trouble for it. All they sorry. care about is, are you going to kiss or not? The yeah. point <laughs> is, Nobody cares. I had icicles in my hair. By the time we cut, because it was so cold, and they had to blow dry my hair to get the icicles out so we can go again. And I had, like, I got really sick. So. They call no. it Hotlanta. It's a load of crap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing hot about Not it. Not so Hotlanta. I think the moral of the story is that, um, you know, for the better or worse, your Twitter, Twitter please do not go unnoticed. We, we, we do hear, see the, the, uh, the requests and, and all the love for certain things. And we things. love it. And we, and we do. It. And if I didn't think that they would kill us for writing a winter rain kiss, then it would have happened a long time ago. If you write another rain kiss, I quit. Yeah. Not See, that I can quit. Series finale. There you go. <laughs> you, inclu you included Michael Alowitz in your tweet when you said, me and Michael Alowitz are on the TVD set discussing the Delana rain kiss. And then Michael Alowitz tweeted, rain is coming. Is he just messing with the fans? Or is oh, there God, actually that's... a substantial rain scene coming? He may know something I don't. Okay. <laughs> There will be no rain yet. <laughs> yes. Yet. Sorry. Let that be rain. <laughs> All right. The number two most asked question on Twitter, is there any hope for Damon and Elena to really get back together? Um, I guess that's a Julie question. Why, why would you ever wish this? Why would you ever wish that on this amazing human being? <laughs> they love it. You don't want to do that. <laughs> I mean, that's You'll do it? She'll take my place. I'll do it. Trust me, think, you don't want to live with me, honey. I think. You don't. They're all putting their hands up. Uh, it's awful. The volunteers. It's awful. Um, now's a good time to point out please don't jump off the balcony. Yeah. I know you're getting excited up there. Safety first, people. Safety first. Um, episode I thought was so well done 
um, and really pulled a 180 on us at the very end where they're breaking up, we're not good for each other, we're so wrong for each other, and then that hot, passionate scene. What can you say about the state that they're in now and how you see them as a couple and what works and what doesn't work for Damon and Elena? They're in, um, Caroline and I talked about this. Yeah! There's one dude. There's one dude in the audience and his team, Stefan. <laughs> I get all the dudes. There's a, there's a banner. All right, all right. I got, I got to call. <laughs> Basically, here's the deal. Damon and Elena um, recognize all the different elements of the codependency of their relationship, and that doesn't necessarily mean that they can't or won't be together. It just means they've got to have a lot of actual, legit, human and grown-up conversations about it. And if those conversations repeatedly lend, end up in sex, then they're eventually going to have to have a conversation about that too. And uh, you know, we just want to try to play them as human as possible, in spite of their inhuman experience. So I think it's a component of. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think I think I think that, that they just have to uh, put their. I love you too. They have to, they, I think I think when you when you have grown up conversations, you have to put your big boy pants and your big boy and big girl pants on, and you have to have a conversation. But that's for later. But the problem is they keep taking their pants off. Yeah, <laughs> they do. That's what keeps getting in the way. They keep of taking their pants things. off, and that's what gets in the way of the grown up conversation. So <laughs> it is what it is. It will be what it will be, and then, you know, eventually, uh, it, you know, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I'm just going to put this out there. This is the easiest moderating gig I've ever had. I don't say anything. Ian just says one word, and the entire place goes nuts. I was gonna say it's kind of the show. Like, if there, if when in doubt, if there's like, oh, what are we gonna do? Uh, this is not working. Oh, I know. Cut to a close-up of Ian's eyes going like this. <laughs> so, yeah. so how, how are you? Like that? No, that's it. Um. I love you guys, man. Uh, I, I wish this was vodka. Paul, Paul, you're speaking.